Welcome back to Reforestation Nation, ladies and gents. We are here with Cody Harrison. And Cody, I think we're at a lumberyard. We are indeed. So this is one of Tree San Diego's lumber yards as part of our CAL FIRE Urban Wood Salvage Grant, where we try to divert end of life trees away from the landfill, firewood pile and wood chipper and toward something better. Awesome. What's, uh, what are we going to see today as we walk through these uh, huge so trunks? We're going to see kind of the, the flow of how we process this material and, right. and uh, what, what we do with it. With this project, we're trying to increase the proportion of end-of-life trees that are going to their highest and best use. We're really trying to honor our urban forest gentle green giants, as we like to call them, <laughs> and uh, give them a second beautiful life after death instead of, um, you know, throwing them in the wood chipper first and asking questions of their value later. Because lumber is typically going to be the highest economic value for this woody material. Yeah. And so we're trying to get as many logs as possible in the hands of local sawmill operators that can turn it into lumber. And then a lot of the waste produced during the milling process, we're trying to move those non-millable portions of the tree toward ecological regeneration, largely in the form of wood charcoal, which we then turn into biochar by composting it. Well, I'm, I'm grateful to learn how to honor the trees with you. Uh, but what happens after you get the, the wood here, what are the next steps to process it into lumber? Sure, so basically the, the logs come in, they get dropped by the arborists, and then sawmill operators, uh, we're working with about a, a dozen or so different sawmill operators throughout San Diego. This site is made available for them to come and mill. So we have one of the sawmills here, this is a wood miser band sawmill. Okay. Um, and the sawmill operators come in, they, they look through the different logs that are available and the different species and sizes and things like that and we leave it up to them to decide how they want to mill it, what they want to turn it into. They process it and, and mill it into lumber and then it's stacked to be dried and one of the ways we're trying to help this industry is by increasing the kiln capacity to dry the lumber. That's one of the big bottlenecks that's preventing growth of the industry. And so we've so far built two solar kilns, one of which is over there and we can take a look at. And it basically just works passively off the, the power of the sun. And then there are four solar actual solar panels in there that power some circulation fans to get the air moving. But uh, yeah, basically it's just working off the abundant San Diego sunshine. Awesome, are we gonna be able to cut some wood with you today? Absolutely. All right, are you gonna cut at me or are we gonna watch the we professionals? We are gonna have one of our professionals, <laughs> John <laughs> you gonna, Hamilton, you gonna trust me that much? <laughs> hey boys, welcome. Howdy. What's going on, Captain? Let's get some safety gear, number one. Thank you, sir. Nice to meet you. How you hey, doing? Nice to meet you. Tom Hamilton. I'm with Lumber Cycle. We're okay. a 501c3 nonprofit sawmill, and we work with our partners, Cody, Tree San Diego and Tree Juvenation, uh, and we run the sawmills that cut some of these beautiful large logs into lumber. The majority of the wood that we produce, we donate to other nonprofits, Boy Scouts, arts organizations. We just did a big shipment to some of the local high schools. And uh, the only way that we are capable of doing this is through grants and through the help of, of Cody's project as well. We're tree planters. I think we're more connected than we actually realize. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Right? We're here around all these trees that have been felled. But that's not necessarily bad. It's how we use them, like you were saying, to honor and to recycle and to upcycle. We are in the same business because every part of a tree's life is a community event. From planting it to enjoying all of the rich shade and the aesthetics that it gives a neighborhood. But for some reason, when they cut that on a tree, it's like, all right, toss it out and let's move on. But our job is to make sure that we go full cycle with these trees and Everything that we got to experience with these in our neighborhoods, they can be experienced again through community enrichment programs. Amen. All right, well, we're going to cut some wood, boys. You want to see this up? So the log is now prepped. We don't want any big knobs hanging off of it. We want it to be as circular as possible. That way the mill can run quickly through it. Got it. I really can't believe that upwards of 30% of wood that is usable does not become lumber and gets becomes leachate in some cases, rots, pollutes. Yeah, and 100% of this could be used. So, so Cody, what exactly are we about to witness? So we're going to see this uh, incense cedar get milled up into some live edge slabs. Alex, are you ready to do some milling? I can do it! You can do it. You're 
So we just milled some wood? We sure did. Pretty awesome. Where do we go from here? Basically, it'll be stacked, stickered, and put in the kiln to be dried. And once dry, it'll be ready to be enjoyed. And then the next step is just to get it out of our hands and into the hands of others. We want people to feel it. We want people to smell it. We want people to make wonderful things and inspire others with it. Well, oh, thank you, gentlemen. Thanks, Alex. Great time. Thank you. Yeah. Ladies and gents, Reforestation Nation. Subscribe to stay alive. See you next time. Thanks for watching Reforestation Nation, where we interview impact leaders about how we can scientifically thrive with nature. And as always, subscribe to stay alive by clicking here and watch more content with us right here. Please click and subscribe. This is Martin from Seven Generation. If there's any green guru, it's him. If he's doing it, I would do it too. Click and subscribe. To stay alive. You we'll think see they're you really going to do that? I hope so. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, Martin. Thank you, sir. Pleasure, Alex.